Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, we are going to test the functionality that we can enter text in our text fields in our add shopping item fragment. And if we then click on insert that the item is really inserted into our database and also displayed in the shopping fragment list. This video is sponsored by myself. If you want to take your learning to the next level, then click the first link in this video's description to get to my website where you will find over 300 quiz questions for all my videos, take notes, climb the leaderboard and compete with other Android developers just by creating a free account. So let's start in this add shopping item fragment class here where we want to inject a constructor. So add inject constructor. We want to inject our glide instance and also import add inject here because we want to be able to load our current image URL into the image view in our add shopping item fragment. So we will have a val glide in here, which is of type request manager. And we already provided that, so that is not a problem right here. Let's also make this change in our shopping fragment factory, so we actually know how to create such an add shopping item fragment. Here in the constructor, we also want to add that glide instance, so private val glide is of type request manager. And then we can go inside of this when expression and simply check when the class name is equal to add shopping item fragment, double colon class at Java dot name. Then we want to instantiate an add shopping item fragment with our glide instance here. Okay, and then in our add shopping item fragment, we want to create a function down here. First, make a little space a function to subscribe to our observers from the view model. So private function subscribe to observers. On the one hand, as I said, that will be our view model dot current image URL. So whenever that changes, we want to load that URL into our image view in our ad shopping item fragment. So we observe on that with our view lifecycle owner and an observer. And we just want to use our glide instance to load this URL that we got there into the image view. So IV shopping image from fragment at shopping item XML. And that's already it for this observer. The next observer is also from our view model, of course, which is insert shopping item status. So once we inserted a shopping item into our database, we of course want to get the status of that if that was successful, if we got an error or anything else. So we observe on that status here, view lifecycle owner and observer. And in here we use it, which is of type event. So we have to call this get content if not handled function. And if that is not equal to null, then we can actually give this a name result. Then we can check in when expression if that result dot status is status dot success, then we want to execute this block of code. If it's status dot error, we execute this piece of code. And we have status dot loading, then we execute this piece of code. If that is successful, we just want to show a snack bar. So snack bar dot make, we use the view of our activity require view, not require view require activity dot root layout then we want to display the text added shopping item and we want to make that snack bar dot length long and call that show afterwards and we also want to pop the backstack so we navigate it back to the shopping fragment so find nav controller dot pop backstack and then for our error status we can copy this snack bar here paste it here and just for the message, we want to pass something else, of course, which is our result.message. So whatever error message we got from our view model. And if that is null, we just instead write an unknown error occurred, which should actually never happen here. And in our loading status, we don't have anything because inserting into the database is so fast that that is not even noticeable here. So I just write no operation here. Which, which you should always do if you have an empty block of code, just that you quickly see that nothing should happen there. Anyways, next we want to execute this function here, 
after we set the view model. So subscribe to observers. And we also want to add an on-click listener to our button add shopping item because when we click that, then we want to insert a new item into our database. And for that, we use view model dot insert shopping item, not into DB, just insert shopping item because that also handles errors. For the name, we use et shopping item name dot text dot to string. Then for the amount, we use et shopping item amount dot text dot to string. And for the price, we use et shopping item price dot text dot to string. And that is already it. Okay, so what is next? Next, we actually want to write our test case. So we want to test here that if we click on this button, that this item is actually inserted into the database. So that an item is created with the text we entered in our edit text, and that we can observe on that afterwards and that this list is basically not empty because we inserted that item. So we go to our Android test directory in our add shopping item fragment test class, open that, which is not that big right now, but we want to add a test case here. So first of all, before I forget it, we want to add this instant task executor rule here because we, we need to test live data here. So bar instant task executor rule, whoops, instant task executor rule. I want you, which is equal to new instant task executor rule. And we also want to inject our fragment factory. So let in var fragment factory, which is of type shopping fragment factory and add this inject annotation here. Okay, and then we can create our actual test case here. Add test function click insert into db and what do we expect? Shopping item inserted into db of course. So what do we actually need here? First of all, we want to create a test view model because we don't want to do that with our real view model because that uses a room database. We just want to use a view model with our fake shopping repository. So val view model, actually let's call that test view model is equal to shopping view model, shopping view model. And here we pass a fake shopping repository Android test that doesn't need any parameters. And then we can launch a fragment in our Hilt container. We want to test our add shopping item fragment. And we want to pass this fragment factory we injected above to this add shopping item fragment. So factory fragment factory is equal to fragment factory. And in this block of code here, we actually just want to set the view model of our fragment to our test view model we set above. So next we actually want to simulate with Espresso that we enter text in our text fields and then afterwards click on the button and then assert that the item was successfully inserted. So right here we will have on view again from Espresso. We get it by with ID, also nothing new here, import with ID. We want to enter something in r.id probably also import r yes et shopping item name so we want to perform an action here this time that is not a click instead uh, this action is called replace text so we want to replace the text of this edit text here and now we can just specify a string so basically just the text we want to enter here which can be anything here, just shopping item, for example. Then we can duplicate that line twice, actually. We want to replace this with et shopping item amount. So in here, we want to set a valid amount, for example, five, and the same for et shopping item price, in which we enter whatever, 5.5, for example. And then we can actually 
duplicate that one more time because now we want to click on our button after we replace those texts here. So this time it's r.id.button add shopping item. And we don't want to perform replace text here. Instead, we just want to perform a click and import that. All right. So now we made sure that we entered valid inputs into our edit texts, clicked on the button, and now we want to assert that this item was actually inserted into our database. So we want to assert that, and we actually need to import that from the truth library. Let's scroll up to our imports, remove this J unit, assert import, scroll down, import that from truth. And what do we want to assert? We want to assert that from our test view model, the shopping items live data dot get or await value if that contains the item we just inserted. So if that contains the shopping item with the name shopping item with the amount five and with the price 5.5 F. And for the image URL, we can just leave it empty. So and that should already be enough for our test case. Let's run this and hopefully everything works. So let's see. And yes, it does. So our test case is working perfectly fine. And we just tested if we can really insert an item into our database from our app. So if you like this video, then please give it a like, comment below what you think about this. And also, if you're not a subscriber yet, please do that. Click on the subscribe button to not miss Android content every second day. I wish all of you a very nice day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.